This is the joke that Cat Williams says Cedric the Entertainer stole from him. We are going to do a side-by-side, -side, beat by beat comparison as well as a little research to get an official answer to whether or not the joke was truly stolen or just a little similar. Cat Williams' premise, black people listen to their music so loud that they can't even hear it when their car turn off. Cedric the Entertainer's premise, black people could fly a spaceship to the moon like a 72 deuce and a quarter. Now the first obvious similarity is that they both start out bouncing to music the same exact way. The next obvious similarity is how they are turning the wheel. That's almost identical, but Cedric the Entertainer is turning it a little wider because you know, he got a bigger spaceship wheel. Now, this is where they part ways and Cedric the Entertainer could probably maybe say, my joke is completely different because Cat Williams has to get out of the car when it stops to get it back started and he starts directing traffic. However, Cedric the Entertainer cannot get out of the spaceship because, you know, he'll float off into the empty void of space. You know, no gravity, no oxygen. You get the picture and all of that. However, he does mimic the directing traffic part. So he's still kind of on the same story beats. But that ends here because the climax or biggest punchline of Cat Williams' joke is when he had to give the car a push and hop back in, start it up, and start back riding, listening to his music. Now, Cedric the Entertainer gave two different responses to this, and we're going to go over both of them next. But the part that was the most different was how Cedric the Entertainer had to end his joke, saying that black people only turned down their music when they got a parallel park. So he turned down the music and parallel parked the spaceship, then cranked the music back up. Now, finally, this was the first of Cedric the Entertainer's two different responses. What up, y'all? What's up? It's Ed. I'm going to address this Cat Williams thing one time, man. I saw people on there really uh, commenting about that. Look, I have no idea what this brother is talking about. It, that joke is over 30 years old, close to 30-something years old. I did the Kings of Comedy in 1999. Probably have been doing that joke six, seven years before that. I don't even know if Cat was doing comedy then. So, you know, again, he a talented brother. I have no idea what he's talking about. I've never seen Cat do a, a space show joke. So, uh, you know, there may be something that he believes is true. I've, I've written a lot of jokes. I've had a lot of comedians steal my jokes as well. So I understand if you feel, you know, slighted by that, but that's my joke. That's my joke, dog. Driving space show to the moon, cigarette, cutie pie, rocking in the background. Parallel parking the spaceship. It's my joke, though. So that's what that's what I believe it to be. So I there is no video evidence that can be found that Cedric the Entertainer was doing this joke before he saw Cat Williams do his joke. It is clear and obvious that he was at least inspired by Cat Williams' joke, but he gave it a different setup, moved it to outer space with a completely different ending. But the beginning and the middle parts of the joke were similar in terms of style that I think such an entertainer is capping to say that he wasn't at least inspired by Cat Williams' joke, but he made it his own. That's fair. Cat Williams is being extra as well because everybody borrows ideas and makes them their own. Was Money Mike not a reimagined comedic spinoff of Superfly? Like, come on, you built your whole comedic persona off of that. This was Cedric the Entertainer's final reply. He says, revisionist history, regardless of whatever Cat's opinion, my career can't be reduced to one joke Cat Williams claims as his. I've been in over 40 movies, my specials, my brand speaks volumes for who I am. The people I've put on, including Cat in the Hat at the Gibson Amphitheater. I hope I said that right. And he goes on to say, all that tough talk is corny. I'm a grown man, dog. And none of that mess going to go like you think. You do you, and I got this over here. And yeah, you know, Cat Williams talking tough is kind of corny because, you know, we did see him get, you know, folded up by a teenager that one time. I mean, like, you know, it is, it's, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, if you'd like this video, you'd definitely like this video. Tap the box. And we out here. Peace.